guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So I was walking around Hobby Lobby the other day and I was in the craft section and I saw these paint brushes, mermaid and unicorn paint brushes. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like art supplies really inspire me to create. So when I saw these brushes, I immediately thought I gotta have these. I gotta turn around right now and I have to go buy these brushes. So as you can see, the unicorns they look like the horns of unicorns and the mermaids look like the tail of the mermaids. It's really cool. So I decided to do like a two part series, maybe go ahead and doodle a unicorn using the unicorn brushes and then doing the mermaid brushes for a mermaid doodle inspired by the brushes. Maybe do like the tail or her hair inspired like the color scheme. So that's what I wanted to do and I was just going to use gouache. I love gouache because I'm obsessed now and it's one art supply medium that I'm trying to get better at. Especially it's what I'm focusing on traditionally right now is my gouache painting because I'm still trying to figure it out and still trying to be good at it because I'm try I know that I kind of mastered watercolor and now I'm like moving on to gouache like this is a whole different kind of like aspect of watercolor. You guys have heard it many many times before. But I'd like to talk about you know horses are tricky animals to draw and back in the day in middle school I decided that I was obsessed with unicorns. Now, this is before unicorns. Unicorns have always been kind of popular, but recently they have been super popular. But in middle school, in the seventh grade, I decided that I was gonna get good at drawing unicorns or horses in general. And you know, sometimes in our, our careers, we just go, you know what? I'm gonna get good at this and I'm gonna keep doing it over and over and over again. And this is way before Instagram and everything, so it's sheesh. How old was I? I was 13 years old, I'm 28 now, so what, 15 years ago? <laughs> that was a long time ago. So I remember I really wanted to get good at horses and I was in Cracker Barrel. So if you know what Cracker Barrel is, they have this whole toy section and they used to have a whole sticker section in front of the toy section because as soon as I went to Cracker Barrel, I went straight to that toy section. And I was looking at the stickers because I loved at the time decorating my sketchbooks with stickers and so I saw a unicorn sticker book and I was looking at the unicorn sticker book and it was really cool because it had the different elements of like the seasons or it was like fire, ice, water, and air and it had like rainbow unicorns and then it had purple haired unicorns that looked completely the same so I actually bought the sticker book or my parents bought it for me because money was not a thing for me. <laughs> I asked them, I begged them to get it. And the thing was, I did not use the stickers at all. Instead, they were my reference guide because this was before iPads or I had an iPhone. There was no such thing as a smartphone at this time. <laughs> but, you know, I didn't have a portable computer. I had a laptop, but I didn't have a computer that I could carry around with me to school. So I grabbed the sticker book and instead of using the stickers and direct uh, and decorating my sketchbook with the stickers, I copied all the horses. And this is how I would go and get references. I would go onto the computer and I'd print off references and it just how it happened that the sticker book was my reference guide for unicorns. So I just kept copying all the stickers in the book until I did every single sticker in the book and that's how I mastered drawing unicorns or body proportions on unicorns. So you never know where you're gonna get your references or your inspiration from. I get, I still get inspiration from coloring books. So that was just a really fun way for me to learn how to draw unicorns and you know you can always look at different pieces of artwork and always use references. There are plenty. I actually got this like rearing up unicorn inspiration from an actual horse that was rearing up that somebody photoshopped as a unicorn, but I threw my own little twist to it. But I still know how any day time, I still draw unicorns all the time. I doodle them and you know, ever since I decided that I was going to stick to that sticker book and do the proportions of a horse, I have from then known how I want to draw unicorns. It's just, it's super helpful. You never know where you're gonna get inspiration from. I, I got inspiration to do this video by looking at a package of unicorn brushes and mermaid brushes. So, 
But yeah, if you are a huge unicorn um, doodler and you love drawing unicorns or painting them, where do you get your inspiration from? How did you teach yourself how to draw a unicorn? I'd love to know. Leave in the comments down below. I love reading comments all the time. But yes, I hope you guys have a most wonderful day. And if you want some of these brushes, they're at Hobby Lobby and they're right in the craft area. I don't know. Every store is different. You never know. But yes, guys, I hope you have a most wonderful day and you get some inspiration from art supplies or sticker books. Bye!